Hi toy fans, this is Toy Hound here with the toy opening of some Mega Bloks Minion Series 3 Mystery Blind Bags. And they come with uh, each with a figure, of course. Here's what the package looks like on them. Right there. They're based on the Minions movie characters. It's for 5 plus. That's what it looks like on the back. The other uh, full size sets you can collect. Right there. And now to open them up and see what we get. I think I cut through the checklist. Make it easy for you to cut up the checklist. Okay. Ooh. We got that one. Oh, pretty cool. One thing to do when you cut it is pull this back. The part if you feel like the paper. Pull that back. That way you don't risk cutting your checklist. I think we're going to have to store the package. Okay. I mean the blind bag. Okay. Oh, cool. I got two different ones. That's pretty awesome. And you can see the uh, pieces right there. And in the next clip I'll show you them assembled in a closer view and then my final thoughts. And here as you can see is the Mega Bloks Minions minifigures out of the blind bags assembled and they both come with a little booklet like this there it is right there that's how you assemble them or even the parts like the teddy bear and such eh, that's not important this is the cool part because it's like a checklist you want to pause that for the certain characters you can just want to show that quick. There's a mystery one, and there's that one. Now on to the figures itself. They both come with yellow blocks just like any other Mega Block figures. I think this one's based on the Jurassic Minion. Similar to the one that I reviewed from uh, the Happy Meal toy version that I reviewed. That's what I meant. Really cool. Nice painted detail. This part is solid plastic, this is rubbery plastic, and you can remove it. But one thing to be aware of is it's very fragile, so you got to be kind of careful with it because you can break that off. That's what it looks like right there. It has the number, and it's made in China, of course. And the design of it is very similar to the Call of Duty and the Halo figures. And it has little, the feet kind of move. And one thing to be aware of is the arms, they're, they take a lot of effort to uh, press them in. But there's that minion. And it comes with the little accessories. Like you have the, I think that's a crab and a starfish. And you have a shell, seashell. And then here's the other minion with the yellow block of course and it has the same number and uh, made in China of course and it has a little bear it doesn't have the red piece they might have changed it in uh, production and it has different colored eyes I didn't notice that before but that's pretty cool the arms are quite tough to uh, push in on this one because you got this piece here and it's limited it can only move like that and we don't need that part. But the teddy bear with the rotating head, that's pretty cool. I think it's better than the Lego one. <clears throat> and then this is removable, so you can switch it out. So if you want to make like a Cyclops version, you can. Ah, just leave it right there. There's that right there. A lot of nice painted detail. I don't know how they do it, but it's pretty cool. I think it's like pressed with heat and paint. I don't know how they do that, but it's really cool. And then you got articulation there. And that's the Minion. I paid like $2 each and uh, tax for these at Walmart. 
in the toy section and I think they're well worth picking up. And that's all I really have to say. If you'd like to see more videos, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and stay tuned for more reviews.